down one morning, arise something to tell you today, but I spent next two hours rearranging my desk, then I made coffee, spill it, so that for the next two hours I was looking for something to clean it up, and I found a rag on the fridge which was empty, so I wanted to buy something. Then started working, but I thought, let's check Facebook for a second, just to get out of the way. Three hours later, I'm still on Facebook, and at this point I feel awful because I've been doing nothing all day, and I'm looking at some cats on YouTube because I'm depressed, and my friend calls and what's up, I'm working, why don't I come over, okay, I'll I start tomorrow, and I always convince myself that tomorrow I'll do all the work but it never comes. And you, you must have something that you really want to do, but you put it off again. You want to lose weight or think about the future, but it is almost like you have just one brain and two minds, two versions of yourself in conflict. But why? It turns out that there, that there is an argument in our brains. This almost childlike and impulsive version of you exists because of the limbic system, which is deep inside your brain because it evolved earlier. The limbic system is very primitive. It operates mostly through your emotions. It's fast and automatic and directly high-wired in the brain's pleasure center, but it seeks immediate gratification like five more minutes on Facebook or another episode of something. On the other hand, there is your wiser self, thanks to the more lately evolved prefrontal cortex right behind your forehead. The prefrontal cortex is unique in humans. It's involved whenever we make plans for the future, think about the past or use willpower. It can bias the brain towards doing the harder thing so that you can get your stuff done, but it's exhaustible and it gets tired quickly. In this game of cat and mouse against primal childish human predilection towards pleasure, the limbic system often wins, maybe because it's an autopilot when our willpower is like a muscle and you lose it if you don't use it. Maybe the fault is in the part of the limbic system uh, called the amygdala that our ancestors developed to answer the question, do I eat it or does it eat me? When our ancestors saw the wild lion, his amygdala fired followed by the adrenaline rush, which enabled him to fight or flee without activating the prefrontal cortex. However, our fears nowadays are of a symbolic nature, so if you find your task to be too hard or too boring, your amygdala may register it as a threat and the limbic system takes over, and you'll know that your limbic is in charge. That's the feeling when you really want something, not when you can't access your willpower. But the middle part of your prefrontal cortex keeps track of your goals and dreams. It can remember what you really want, the real you, so while you're stuck with the impulse, you now have a choice to become better tacticians in a war inside your brain. First, start now. You'll never feel like starting. Now is the right moment. Make a plan. Get away from distractions. Dare to fail. Enjoy yourself. And don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Thank you very much.